Hey, what's going on everybody? Louie Phantom here. And yes, got a double feature for you tonight right here on Louie Phantom's Horror Review. We are reviewing Contracted and Insidious Chapter 2. Alright, so let's start with Contracted. The basic premise is a uh, girl gets a... Uh, she gets banged and then she has some kind of, it's like it's an STD but it's like the mother of all STDs uh, and that's 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 the basic plot that's it that's the entire movie right there uh, I'll break it down a little bit uh, it's, it actually starts off with this guy banging a corpse like that's how it, and the corpse um, it has like a bio tag sticker or like you know, the toe it has like a little bio tag thing on it or tag yeah bio tag uh, so you know there's something wrong with that corpse and this dude's fucking it but he's not just uh, he's not just down with the dead ladies, if you know what I mean. He likes to branch out and bang the living girls as well. So he uh, hooks up with this one girl. Now this girl, uh, pseudo lesbian, I guess you can say. Like it's one of those things where like she, it's established early on that she you know dated guys or whatever. But then she met one girl and she kind of went all into that. Like she became a lesbian or whatever. But still kind of on the fringe of things. Uh, I guess bisexual, even though she flat out, like, at one point, she's like, I'm a lesbian, and then she bangs a guy in a car. Um, so anyways, but, she, that, she, you know, they bang, and it's all it takes one time. And, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, comes back, and then what happens is, um, the police are looking for that guy, and they're all secretive about it, and they're like, you know, if anybody has any information about this guy, you know, let us know. Of course, she don't want to tell anybody. She's like, it's funny, because, like, She's more closeted about her heterosexuality than she is her uh, homosexuality. She she telling everybody I'm a lesbian, but then she's like, oh, I didn't bang this guy at all. And not even like at first, it's because of, of the disease. Like you know, later on, obviously she's trying to hide the fact that clearly she knows where she got the disease from. It's this guy, but even before that, she's still trying to keep it all under wraps or whatnot. And uh, so yeah, she and it, it's just it kind of goes into body horror uh, mode from this point on. Um, I liked it. I'm not gonna lie. I did not like the main character. And the problem is, you're with this character throughout. Like, this is the character you're supposed to be getting behind, and she was just not likable at all. Uh, from just being a complete stuck-up bitch to her friends, and her, uh, and there's a guy, I mean, I, I get it if she didn't want to date the guy, but it's like, she's just completely rude about it, and just completely bitchy or whatever about it to him. Uh, the fact that she's going after a girl who clearly doesn't even like her. Like, literally... You can tell, like, this was just a one-time fling type thing. And the other girl, and she's, you know, clearly older and things like that. She just has nothing to do with this lost little college girl. And, uh, I don't know. It, I, I just, I could not get behind this girl at all. Like, I tried. I was like, you know, I want to like her. She's the main girl. I just couldn't do it. So, I, I really did, had no sympathy at all. Uh, I don't want to say too much because it came out in 2013. So, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, toward the end, you start, you, you kind of know what's going on. That's all I can really say. It's not a big surprise when it happens, but you're kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, I, I figured where it was, it was heading. So, uh, but yeah, no, overall, I mean, so it, are, these both are going to be very short reviews because they're both from, you know, 2013. I don't want to give too much away in case you have not seen it. Uh, but uh, yeah, Contracted, uh, you know, mild thumbs up, though. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Part 2. I'm curious where they're going to go with Part 2. If they're going to continue a story like this, because, I mean, it, it, the way it ends, it kind of goes into a different genre altogether now. Like, now, if you picked up part two, it would almost be a different movie altogether. I'm not, so I'm not sure if it's going to be... I don't know. I am definitely I want to see part two, so I'm definitely curious about that. But uh, this one, like I said, it's not bad at all. Uh, pretty gory. I mean, it has a few good moments. There's a... Because, uh, like I said, her body is changing. And when we get to the teeth... You guys know how I feel when it comes to anything up here. Eyes, ears, nose, teeth. Just fucking stay out of it. And, oh, uh, yeah. It's fucking gross. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I said, uh, like I said, my main flaw was just the girl. And it wasn't really, I mean, she did good acting-wise. Uh, I just, I don't know, writing-wise, story, like her character, I just did not like. Uh, and then she just kind of gets worse. Like, as, I mean, I get it. Like, you know, she's fucking, you know, the changes, if you will, in her body. It's, a uh, it's fucked up, but at the same time, she just kind of makes it worse. Like, I don't know, she just, the way she acts out against everybody, I don't know, I, I, I couldn't get behind. I do think that they should show, like, three films. And, like, if you, if, if you know, 
people want to scare their kids from sex. I'm not saying that's a good thing at all, because, I mean, you shouldn't fear sex. But, you know, there are those people out there who are like, sex is bad. And blah, blah. These are the movies that show them. Contracted, It Follows, and Teeth. And that, that should, you know, set any any person story. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's, that's my contracted review. Like I said, not bad. I, I recommend it. Uh, but once again, it's not really a big twist ending. Like I said, about even about midway through, you're like, this is probably where they're going. And, and, it, and it is, so... Uh, so up next we got Insidious Chapter 2, also from 2013. Uh, this picks up immediately after the events apart. Like literally, you can put them, you can splice them together, and it's the same fucking thing. I mean, it, it literally is just minutes after one ends. Uh, and of course, we remember at the end of one, I hate to spoil, I guess, but I'm sure you guys have seen it because this is uber mainstream. Um, you know, uh, oh, I, Patrick Wilson. I'm gonna say Patrick. I can't remember his name. Fuck. Patrick Wilson, uh, forgot the character name, sorry. He, um, at the end of part one, he was possessed, if you will, by this woman. I, I don't want to call her a woman in black, because when I say that, everybody's like, you mean move down? I'm like, no, insidious, but there's a woman in black, clearly. Woman. Uh, anyways, uh, possessed him, and then, of course, he straight up just fucking strangles and murders, um, Lynn Shea. Once again, forgetting the fucking names. I'm so, I'm so sorry, guys. I really am. I'm horrible with character names sometimes. I'm better with just actors and actresses. Anyway, so in this movie now, we're kind of dealing with that. Because now they, they leave the house. They move in with Barbara Hershey, which is uh, Patrick Wilson's mom. And uh, we get... it's kind of, It, it reminds me a lot of like Amityville horror in a way. Uh, just kind of like that family drama. Like It's still horror, but it has a lot of drama in it. Like, you know, it's, it's all about, like, you know... When's the dad going to snap? When's he going to this, you know? And so that's what you're doing with it. It's literally just him possessed and then, or someone's inhabiting his body. I, you know, it's not, you know, the, it's not the house that's haunted. It's the boy. So same thing, I guess. It's not, he's not possessed. He's haunted or whatever. But anyways, um, and people are realizing it like all around him. And so now it's like, we can't say anything too much because then he'll, he'll flip out on us. Uh, I really like Insidious Chapter 2. I think the first one's better. Uh, first one was definitely scarier. Did this one, uh, and this is definitely, I um, can't believe I'm blanking on this dude's name, the director. Oh, fuck me in the face. Uh, James Wan, sorry, I'm, man. I'm, I'm actually well, well rested this day, too, so I have no excuse, I'm just blanking. Uh, James Wan, I mean, his direction is brilliant. Like, he, he literally, I, I, I've always, I've said this, and this is on my Insidious One uh, review, is that, this is how horror should be filmed. It's like everybody wants to go to found footage because it's cheaper. But you can still capture that feel because his camera movement is it's straight out of found footage. Like it literally is. Like the camera is just following him. It's doing these crazy walking around. It's, it's found footage, but just, you know, with traditional filmmaking. You know, it's still a, a, a traditional storytelling structure. Uh, but the camera is still, it's perfect. I mean, it really is. And love it. Uh, he, you know, a lot of jump scares in this one. Uh, a lot of little, and he does a lot of, like, you know, he'll set it up. Well, my favorite scene is, uh, I think her name's Rose Brine? 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 I'm gonna say Brine. I could be wrong. Uh, moral, uh, pronunciation name, too. Uh, I can't remember if there was an R or not. Anyways, uh, Rose, when she's, uh, walking, and there's a scene, because you know something's gonna go down, but, you know, she's walking down the hall, and we can see for a split second, like, way in the background, because, like, you know, that's the way the hall set up. It's like the whole house itself on this one side. You can loop around. You can walk down the hall, and there's, like, two or three different doors. But it connects to, like, a bigger living room. And you can literally just, you know, if you want to. And so, when she starts walking, you see for a split second there's a girl sitting there. And then when she walks by that second door, it's gone. And just shit like that, because you're like, oh, shit, you know, there's someone in there. And we're going to, you know. And I just, I, I like that. I really think he just, he, he has a knack for, you know, really directing good uh, very tense scenes, and you know this is this you know another example of it right here. Uh, like I said, overall, I'm not gonna get too much play. I do like, uh, yeah, I don't want to get too much play. Uh, once again, I know you guys have probably already seen it, but uh, for people who've happened, because I know there's been movies that like I I refuse to watch other people's reviews of newer movies just because I'm afraid they're gonna spoil it. So I you know so I don't want to do the same thing to someone else. Um, but no, I, I like the. Uh, the, you know, he goes into when uh, we go into the further this time. Patrick Wilson's stuck there, like the real him is there, even though you know the lady in black's taken over his body. And of course, he meets up with Lynn Shea on the other side. And I thought that was a really neat concept. And I liked when he go. 
I'll just say there's a bit of time jumping here, and I really, I, I guess, I won't say time travel, but it, it kind of is. And I thought that was really neat. I thought that was a very uh, new little twist, because like, that's what sequels should do. You should take your concept and build upon it. So I definitely dug that. I thought that was really cool. And, uh, yeah, I love the ending. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say how it ends, but it, it ended kind of really, really cool. And it even kind of set up a sequel that we never quite got because we got the prequel instead, which I'm not complaining because I really like the prequel as well, but I really wanted to see... The next, you know, because, I mean, you already know Lin Shay's dead. And, of course, Specs and, uh, oh, the big guy. I think his, I think his real name's, like, Angus Simpson, Samson, some shit like that. Uh, Specs and, I uh, don't matter. Anyway, I like those two characters, and I would just love to see more of them. But, thing is, it's funny, whenever I read any reviews, it's so anti-Specs and that other guy. Like, everybody just shits all over them. I don't get it. Like, I like them. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I would love to see, I guess, like, just more focus on them. Bust, like, almost like The Conjuring, how we focus on a husband and wife team busting ghost cases. I want to see Specs, the other guy, and Ghost Lin Shay busting up, you know. I mean, it'd be really cool, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, highly recommend this one and City of Shepherd 2. Uh, check it out. Uh, that's all I got. You guys, uh, let me know what your opinions on or, or what your opinions are on these films. Drop that shit down below. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, you know, whatever, guys. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Guys, have a great weekend. I'll catch you Monday.